like this week. So uh, I'm going to put it up on my screen. We're going to go over some things. Uh, give me one second as I pull them up. First thing we're going to talk about is mm -hmm. Cartoon Network Studios. So here's the thing about this, right? <laughs> I think that people had uh, misinterpreted the. What's going on? I don't know what's happening. No, I'm, I'm going to go into oh, it. I'm okay. going to go into it. <laughs> <laughs> go into it. So uh, Cartoon Network Studios ended, but it's still going to be continued under the ownership of Warner Brothers. Mm -hmm. Warner Brothers. So people were thinking like, oh, like Cartoon Network was finished, it was done. Uh, that was it. But uh, actually, it's going under another company. Mm -hmm. So I think people or some people are gonna, are critiquing about um, the way that it's going to be managed as far as like shows, originality, things like that. But uh, I just wanted to kind of like briefly get your thoughts and opinions about, uh, I guess, the new transition or the, the, the assumption that it was ending, but actually going under a new company. What's the new company? Uh, Warner Bros. So oh, it's oh, like, oh, oh, oh. Uh, like Warner Bros. Uh, Discovery. Uh, so uh, surrounding changes over Warner Bros. Television, which is, you know, the conglomerate. I can't say that. Conglomerate. Conglomerate. Thank you. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so it's going, going through those structural changes. Okay. So it was Cartoon Network Studios, but now it's going under the new management. But I think people are wary about what are the changes, implications that are going to come with it as far as like originality, show, Like, is there so many black people in the cartoons? Is that? No, I don't think it's just any, like, when you think about nostalgia factor, when you think about all the classic shows that came under Cartoon uh, Network Studios, oh. and then, then you've seen all the traditions of the new shows coming up and things like that. Like, what's your overall thoughts about it as far as like the nostalgia factor that Cartoon Network Studios has brought mm -hmm. when you think about all the mm -hmm. classical shows that you, you, you thought about, well, you know, Dexter. Uh, all these things like that, yeah. and now it going onto new management, and then trying to change some things within that. Uh, will it be the same? More so, will it will bring out that originality? Will it bring out shows that will get people still invested in Cartoon Network, or will it divest, or it will lose assets and things like that mm -hmm. with all the changes? So, what, are there any brief what does about? Warner Brothers have any other cartoons? I don't know. I don't. Uh, they yeah, it's like Bugs Bunny or something like that. Uh, well, I haven't really been on WB in a while. Yeah. Um, in terms of uh, differentiating between the assumption and what's actually happening, yeah. I was one of the people who assumed that Cartoon Network was also going to be completely out of business because people mm. were posting it. Uh, the, there was a post on Instagram from Complex, yeah. and then people would caption it, RIP, RIP, yeah. go too soon and all this stuff. Yeah. But then I read about it, and I realized, oh, this is just... This is this is actually a continuation of what we're already seeing with a lot of media companies. Mm -hmm. um, I believe last year, either last year or the year before, Viacom decided to form a conglomerate with CBS. Mm -hmm. And then this year, there have been a lot of rumblings around HBO being um, purchased by Discovery or the other yeah. way around. Yeah. Um, and in all of these conversations, people are really curious about how that's going to affect content. Mm -hmm. As someone who loves HBO, I mean, I could list a bunch of HBO shows I, yeah. I love. Discovery, mm, uh, you know, got your home improvement shows and cooking. Yeah. <laughs> I don't see how they mix. Like, yeah. I don't see how, like, the HBO's content would mix with Discovery's. But, and I would, I don't know too much about WB right now, but I would hope that there's still room for animated content yeah. um, with what's going on with Cartoon Network and WB. But, TV has changed. Yeah. Content has changed. Yeah. People are going online um, yeah. looking to watch different things. Mm -hmm. I don't know what kids watch these days. I don't know if it's cartoons yeah. like it was back for, for us. So yeah, I don't know. Those true. are kind of my feelings on it right now. Yeah, because like I, I'm always big on like, you know, original shows and the lessons and the things that they was teaching us, even though there was some underlying messaging with certain things as far as adult content, but you know, as far as like the feeling that it brought to people. And I don't think you always have to have a nostalgia factor because I think that was draws older people back into like watching these shows and having that inner kid about them. But it's more so how the kids nowadays and this generation moving forward is going to invest and get into these shows. And I think that there's maybe a certain degree or a certain uh, populace of people, of kids that's going to be invested or watching the shows regardless. But I'm thinking like, okay, what's the direction as far as creativity, originality, um, 
like kin like feeling that's going to be involved with the whole directions and changes like that and what's our like like the new structural policies that's coming into play with this because like yeah like there's certain companies that's under certain things it's just like it don't really quite mix like you said but uh that's just pretty much my only concern because you think about outside of that when i'm thinking about disney and live like the, the live action the live uh shows and everything that they got going on in the direction that they're going it's always trying to pull back into what's not original it's what's already there um so with this i'm just more concerned about the direction as far as creativity and originality yes, yeah yeah mm-hmm. so any any thoughts about it mm-hmm. okay no, fair <laughs> enough, fair enough, you know um so the next thing that i want to pull up is Uh, let me see what I'm put next. Um, yes, I'll talk about this one. So, enter. Oh, yeah. I saw this. I'm so excited yeah. to see this. Yeah. Oh my god. You um, gotta watch it if you no, did. I no, I haven't oh, watched it. No, I haven't watched it. I am um, so excited though. Yeah, so Kid Cudi released the album in correlation to this uh, movie that people have been talking about, people have been raving about. And I think that um, it's getting a lot of buzz. I haven't watched it yet. Um, I heard that it is more in the in the direction of positivity, love, you know, uh, like that. you know, different love interests and things like that. Mm-hmm. So uh, visually, it looks cool. Yeah. Uh, I might get into watching it this weekend. But uh, what's your initial thoughts or thoughts about this whole thing? I'm excited. I love seeing black content outside of struggle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I love mm-hmm. seeing black people just. Be themselves, yes. go out, live their life. So I'm so excited for this. I'm so excited. Mm, yeah. What's your, what's your thoughts about it? Hundred percent. Well, I saw it. I promise I won't spoil it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to so. like go. Um, I'm very big on like port- uh, like the portrayal of black characters mm-hmm. and black people as mm-hmm. people first. Yes. Yeah. Um, and there was a lot of that in there. Very positive to your point. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, I I shied away from it at first to be honest because um. I'm really like 50 50 about animations nowadays, mm, but a friend yeah. of mine really encouraged me, like, you know, check it out. I think you're gonna like it. And they were like 100% right. So, it's really good. Um, yeah. So, like, yeah, like I said, it looks visually good and stunning, but I just, one thing that I thought, I thought about is like, because it's promoting his album. So, do you think that it's gonna get enough people to listen to the album? Because no. um, I think it's just more attention to the movie itself, which is dope. Mm-hmm. Um, in the direction and how he was, even the cast members involved in this is pretty dope. But um, is this album the soundtrack for this movie? I think some of it is part of it. More, more or less. Did you yeah. like? Did you like it? It wasn't just his. I know. Uh, okay. Okay. Like what yeah. you heard but you some like? of the songs I, I did like, and mm-hmm. I did want to go and find them and stream them. Um, I know that I might have experienced the the songs I heard in a certain way because they were paired with the visual, but mm. that's also not a bad thing. I mean, no. music videos have been around yeah. a lot more. So there's definitely an incentive for me to stream a few songs yeah. and see how I feel about Was that. Was that the entire album? Yeah, I don't know yet. I don't, oh, yeah. It's been a while since I've really been on the Kid Cudi train. Yeah, yeah. 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 But, but he's a talented artist. Yeah. Yeah. So, I, 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 in my opinion, I don't know if it's going to like want people to listen to it more. I think there may be a few tracks that he might highlight here and there. But I think from an overall sense, it's people are just going to be heavy on this. And he's kind of like, his album is going to be like a passive, pass away kind of thing over time. But um, awesome. overall, I think it's a dope idea. I, I like, like dope, like you said, um, the idea of positive black images mm-hmm. and that's outside of just struggle yeah. and things oh, like yeah. that. So, um, yeah, uh, and we'll close out with this, uh, you know, this last one. Uh, Little Baby dropped an album. I don't know if you heard of it. It's what called. It's only me. I oh yeah, it's he yeah. dropped it. Uh, he dropped it. Yeah. yeah, it's only me. Uh, I listened to a few of the tracks on it. Um, it sounds pretty cool. Um, but um, I, I need to do like a, a a deep dive on the whole album itself and things mm-hmm. like that. But I I, I want a curious thought or question about this. How do y'all feel about the direction with albums coming out? Do you feel like they're of quality? Do you feel like there's only just a few songs highlighted? Because you know, in correlation to Kid Cudi having his album out, do you feel like there's enough quality songs within an album that's keeping you invested in listening to it. No. <laughs> He's like, no. I think I think artists uh, nowadays just want those quick streams. Mm. They want something to go viral. They want something to like be an earworm. And if they get that one good song or those two good songs, they don't give a shit about the rest of their album. Yeah. And I'm like, that's really disappointing. Mm. Yeah. No, I, I agree. Yeah, what's your thoughts? I agree. Um, on. On the sub, I think it's kind of related to your 
second question, mm -hmm. but on the topic of his album specifically, I played a song today. Um, I think it was the first song. It was all right, but I actually haven't really listened to rap music for like the last like maybe three weeks. What do you listen to? Um, well, I, I love rap music, but it's like a mood thing for me. Yeah, like, mm -hmm. I'm noticing that like like I haven't listened to drill in a month. Like mm -hmm. I just that cadence and that speed and that content is just not really flowing with, with yeah. me right now. I'm listening to a lot of like jazz, Afro beats, neo soul. Um, yeah, I was listening to some Brent Bay ass on the way here. Okay. Like just like to, like you know, just, I'm in a calm mood. I want to stay calm. If I'm in the I'm gym, older out. yeah, yeah. And if I'm in the gym, like maybe I'll go back to rap. But I agree with a lot of what you said. I do think the market has changed though for music, and mm. there there's like a it's not very. Uh, I don't think the word I'm looking for is explicit, but it's not very uh, pronounced, like the mm. pressure for people to make shorter songs and TikTok music that you can dance to, but that's that's what the market is like shifting towards. So mm. sometimes I, I get in the habit of asking myself, do we blame the artists or do we blame the industry? Do mm. we blame the people who are creating the demand for like lower quality music? Or, um, or even more music too. Or, when you say oh, oh more music yeah more music because mm -hmm. sometimes like if, if like a, a artist has had, had like a gap or haven't been producing enough songs with it but like, oh when is the next album yeah. or when is this and when is that so i think that all can encompass as far as like the pressure or like sometimes like i think even with certain album drops they get like a, a bonus or something like that as well so i think that there's too many other things that come into play but like uh in my opinion i think uh, it kind of dwindles down I only here to certain artists and things like that. I've been trying to tap into new artists and things. Uh, uh, one that is called uh, Ira, Ira Star, I believe. She's uh, part of the Afrobeat wave she's, and things like that. Nigerian. Yeah, so like I'm trying to just to listen to more people, see what they're about, their content and everything like that. But like I think like back then when I used to listen to music, I'm listening to every lyric, every word, things mm -hmm. like that. I'm trying to like divide, uh, dive myself in like the visuals, the the wordplay, the everything, like just to get a like a feel for it, and even the mood, like to just put myself in their shoes and things like that. But now, so it's just like you know, hit one hit wonders, uh, you know, certain songs here and there, things like that. Certain songs you skip over, or whatever, without really fully digesting the album and the body of work that they're putting in. So you know, two, I have two quick questions. Yeah, yeah go ahead. Um, what what genres of music do you both listen to? Um, me more so is hip hop, Afro beats, mm -hmm. um, a little bit of R and B. I like my classicals, of course, my like my early two thousands, early nineties. Like I like my little bit of the beatbox, mm -hmm. uh, more of the MC kind of direction. Yeah, so sure. I, I, I like that kind of. Yeah, you know, that's my my realm. Um, I know like soul and like oh soul um, too. I'm yeah, like soul. I like, yes. soul. like indie, like that low key hip hop sound. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, definitely love soul yeah. indie. Yeah, I like that. I don't. Think, I think I didn't even get back in it because I don't think I listened enough to it. I used to listen to a lot of it. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like you talking about NDRE, you talking about uh, Lauren Hill. I am talking about like those type of people that got me into that, like just that 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 jazzy beat vibe, yeah. like just that like Erica Badu. yeah, Eric Badu, yeah. all those type of people. So I, I like getting into that space as well. But uh, uh, I don't know if enough artists nowadays are inviting. They probably are. They're just probably not looking well enough. Yeah, but, we're uh, not. Yeah. And not they, what? Sometimes you give me a little peek. But sometimes you're really fucking good. Oh, God. Okay, okay. And then Snow her and like, okay. yeah. Tim's, yeah. Tim's, I like Tim too. Snow Allegra? I don't know what that is. Oh, all right. Come on, push him on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be fun as well. Yeah. What about you? What's your um, genre? Yeah, so um, rap, Afro beats, mm -hmm. definitely 90s rap. And 90s, a lot of 90s rap has like, Jazz influence, yes. everything about the samples and the beats and stuff. Mm -hmm. Jazz, um, neo soul. I used to listen to alternative, but I, I really fell off of that. Mm -hmm. Like that soft rock. Um, it really depends on my mood. Yeah, and, yeah. and pop too was a certain thing at a certain time for me. But then the way that integrating pop with all these other stuff is just like you don't know specifically what genre yeah. it is. It's just kind. Of, it's just too mixy, you know. Yeah. So, I think but, I only listen to pop with funk. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so this closeouts, um, yeah, what's trending black this.